I thought about what you said last night, and I went back on the dating website, and I was looking at this girl's profile. She's amazing. Oh, she's cute. And smart, Phi Beta Kappa. And judging by her lack of Adam's apple, she's been female her entire life. <laughs> I like that in a woman. Great, so what do you need me for? Well, I was up all night trying to write to her, but I wanted to run it by you first. All right. <clears throat> Emily, your face is like a precious dukest flower. Wow. I know. Powerful stuff, huh? No, you're supposed to be yourself, not all desperate and creepy. Okay, I'm getting some mixed messages here. Just say something normal, like, I saw your profile, uh, looks like we have a lot in common, let's get a cup of coffee sometime. Yes, where I can be jealous of the cup touching your ruby lips. <laughs> Are you busy? No, what's up? Have you heard back from Emily? I have. Great, and? And I'm afraid she doesn't think you're right for her. I give you one simple thing to do. Contact a complete stranger and make her fall in love with me and you blow it. Look, I told her what a good guy you are, but she thought it was a bad sign that you didn't write to her yourself. She thought it made you seem too shy and passive. I'm not too shy and passive. You write her back and tell her I said that. <laughs> You know, when you have a second. Look, I'll see if I can change her mind tomorrow night. What's happening tomorrow night? I'm eating her for coffee. <laughs> what? Well, we just, we emailed back and forth a bit and we kind of hit it off. Well, I find a girl I like and you're stealing her? No, we just ended up having a lot in common. We went to Harvard, we liked Chaucer, we're both hardcore into quilting. <laughs> Look, I admit that it's odd that Rajesh didn't write to you himself, but if you get to know him, you'll see he's just a sweet, regular guy. As a counterpoint, here he is uninvited and visibly sweating. Hello, Emily. Hello. Amy told me you were concerned that I might be too passive and shy. Let me ask you something. Would a passive guy barge in here to look you in the eye and say, hey, do you kiss flower, what's up? <laughs> but a weird guy with no boundaries might. Uh, okay, that's a separate issue. Let's put a pin in that and just focus on the passive thing. I'm leaving. Are we still gonna go to that Chaucer reading Friday? You know, I think I'm just gonna go by myself. Not my best first date. <laughs> yeah, but not my worst either. <laughs> hey. Emily, right? Yeah? I don't know if you remember me. From the dating website. Your friend emailed me because you were afraid to, then you tracked me down and acted like a lunatic? Yes, Rajesh Kutrapali. <laughs> Look, uh, I just, I wanted to say I'm sorry. Okay, you were like the coolest person I ever found online, and I got really nervous, and I, I, I just blew it. Uh, don't worry about it. And if it makes you feel any better, you're not the weirdest guy I've met off the internet. Well, give me a chance. You don't even know me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's your chance. Oh, really? Thank you. Fate has given me a rare second chance, and I swear to Vishnu, I'm not going to blow it. Or normal words, followed by a charming smile. <laughs> You look, you look really pretty tonight. Thanks. I love that jacket. Thank you. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do this. My, my ex-girlfriend emailed me, and I'm seeing her Saturday. And I'm glad you like it. It's from J. Crew. <laughs> I don't understand. My friends told me it was OK to see more than one person at a time, but it, it feels like I'm being deceitful. Are you getting back together with her? No. I, I I have no idea. What would you do? Uh, usually on first dates, I talk about music and stuff. But I was promised weird, so let's do this. And there was a handshake loaded with sexual innuendo. <laughs> Wait, 
So a girl you never slept with sent you an email and you felt so guilty about it that you had to tell me? Yeah. That's kind of adorable. Are you, are you sure? Because this is the part of the night where I've said something stupid and the girl usually leaves. I'm still here. Yeah, but now you make me wonder what's wrong with you. <laughs> oh, crap, I know that girl. How? But in a bad way, very bad. <laughs> hey, guys. Whatever you hear tonight, just remember I love you. Hey! <laughs> Have we met before? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think so. You sure you look familiar? Well, you sure don't. I mean, you, I know. You, I know. <laughs> you, a, a total stranger. <laughs> Even if you had yummy candy, I would not get in your van. Did you go to that spin class on Green Street? That must be it. Since when do you go to spin class? Wow, now who doesn't listen? <laughs> Emily, what do you do? I'm a dermatology resident at Huntington Hospital. And you know what that means? Someone's skin's about to be softer than ever. This is making me crazy. I know I know you from somewhere. Oh, uh, Howard was an astronaut. Maybe that's where you saw him. Wow, that's amazing. What was that like? <laughs> that was the most incredible experience of my life. Up there in the space station. You're oh my God, I remember. <laughs> Can I finish my astronaut story? <laughs> Four years ago. Please don't say it. We were set up on a blind date. Please don't say it. You came to my apartment. You're saying it. <laughs> what, what happened? No, what happened? Okay, I'll say it. <clears throat> I was on the way to pick her up. My stomach felt a little funny. But when I got there, I asked if I could use her bathroom. Please don't say it. <laughs> One roll of toilet paper, and 20 minutes later, I was so humiliated, I stuck out the window and never saw her again. You know what else I never saw again? My security deposit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to unclog it, but you didn't have a plunger and water was spilling out everywhere. Right, just water. <laughs> Howie. Well, hey, it's not like cotton candy comes out of you. <laughs> Why did you decide to specialize in dermatology? I like cutting people with knives, and all the other jobs where you get to do that are illegal. <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's scary, but it's a cute scary. <laughs> Actually, how do you feel about watching a House of a Thousand Corpses? A straight up gore fest? You hate this stuff. I do, but for some reason, Emily loves it and wants to watch it with me tomorrow, so I thought if I saw it with you first, then I could act cool about it with her. That's actually not a bad plan. I can sit through the colonoscopy now, but that first time I was like, oh my god, a prune pit! <laughs> okay. So, in the last 20 minutes, we've seen a crazy woman kissing a fetus in a jar. We've seen a guy cut in half and sewn to a fish. And the brutal dismemberment of a rotisserie chicken by my mother. On the bright side, she didn't even notice the pill. Why does Emily like this stuff? Do you think there's something psychologically wrong with her? What difference does it make? What do you mean? Well, oh, come on, she could have a freezer full of ex-boyfriend's body parts and you'd still go out with her. I do like that the ex-boyfriend's out of the picture. <laughs> Here we go, house of a thousand corpses. Now, just so you know, I was a nanny for three years, so if you get scared, I can totally change your diaper. <laughs> Actually, I have to tell you something. These kind of movies really aren't my thing, so last night I watched it just to see what I was getting myself into. Okay. And I have to be honest, I thought it was disturbing and weird, and it made me wonder what it says about someone who enjoys it. I wonder that too. Then why do you watch these things? Can I tell you something without you judging me? Sure. They kind of turn me on. And play. <laughs> Uh, this is 
my friend Sheldon. Sheldon, this is Emily. Oh, yes, you're the dermatologist. Are you here alone? No, not really. What do you mean, not really? Uh, should we get our seats? Yeah. It was nice seeing you. Um, I'll call you later. Yeah, OK. That was awkward, right? <laughs> uh-huh. I just wanted to say how sorry I am about tonight, and I want to make sure that we're OK. Uh, look, you and I haven't made any commitments to each other. I know. I just felt like I needed to explain. The guy I was with did my last tattoo, and he's been asking me out for months. I finally said yes just to get it over with. It's OK. Really? Well, I mean, yeah, it freaked me out a little, but that's my issue, not yours. Wow. If I saw you out with another woman, I'd be pretty upset. Thank you. <laughs> not just for being upset, but for believing that could happen. <laughs> so, uh, you, you have tattoos? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I have a hole in my belly button that may or may not have been a piercing. That's cool. It's a piercing. <laughs> so, uh, how many tattoos? <laughs> one on my shoulder, one not on my shoulder, and one really not on my shoulder. <laughs> it's uh, been a long time since I've seen a girl's really not her shoulder. <laughs> How about you show me your piercing and I show you my tattoos? <laughs> but uh, before I take my shirt off, I just need like 10 minutes to do some crunches. <laughs> <laughs> what up, guys? Hello. Hey. OK, well, now that everyone's here, Penny and I have some big news. Oh my God! <laughs> and I thought me having sex with Emily was going to be the big news. That's right! Yeah. Oh my God! Hey, hey! What the hell? <laughs>